King Charles has taken unprecedented action against his son, Prince Harry's wife, Meghan Markle. In a stunning power move, Charles has stripped Meghan of her royal title of Duchess of Sussex in a move that signifies a complete rupture with the monarchy. Let's rewind to see how tensions escalated to this dramatic point. Ever since Harry and Meghan stepped back as senior working royals in early 2020, their relationship with the royal institution and other family members grew increasingly fraught. Meghan especially seemed deeply unhappy with royal conventions like protocol and the expectations of her role. Behind palace walls, it said she clashed with staff over demands and did not take criticism well. Rumors of feuds with Kate Middleton also circulated. Things came to a head in March 2021 when the Sussexes sat down with Oprah Winfrey for a bombshell televised interview. Meghan told Oprah stunning claims, including that someone in the royal household expressed concerns about the skin color of her and Harry's child, Archie. She also said Kate Middleton made her cry before her wedding over flower girl dresses. These accusations sent shockwaves around the world and deeply damaged the monarchy's image at a sensitive time. It presented the family in a negative light on a global stage they had little power to directly respond to. Charles and William were said to be enraged over the disloyalty and seen as opportunism. In the 16 months since, tensions failed to de-escalate. The Sussexes struck lucrative Netflix and Spotify deals implying royal association while still living luxuriously in California away from duties. Harry further criticized his father's parenting in an upcoming memoir slated for release later this year, deepening the rift. Finally, it seems King Charles has now lost what remained of his patience with Meghan following ongoing implications of representing Britain while pursuing independent careers. In a carefully timed move during his Platinum Jubilee celebrations in June, Charles took the extraordinary step of issuing a written decree. In the letter, Charles announces he is stripping Meghan of her title of Duchess of Sussex with immediate effect using ancient royal prerogative. Multiple insiders say this not only revokes her association with the Windsors, but sends a blunt message that further damage will not be accepted. As the new sovereign, Charles has wide authority over non-working titles and also circumstances under which royal brides can lose them. Though unprecedented, experts agree Charles was within his legal rights to remove Meghan's style in restoring integrity. Reactions to the move have been understandably dramatic. Some supporters call it necessary to establish a clearer separation given ongoing scrutiny of Netflix deals or the book that threatens to expose family secrets. However, Critics call it needlessly vindictive and only damages already frayed family bonds. Regardless of perspective, the decree represents a new hard line from King Charles in his determination to move the monarchy securely into the future under his reign. He is said to want to streamline the institution and distance it from self-serving exploits or criticism from royal exiles still cashing in on former platforms. For Meghan, this revocation of her title is undoubtedly a massive blow and permanent rupture from any ceremonial role within the family. As an American divorcee, now fully estranged, she no longer holds rank of British elegance that comes with the trappings of Duchess status. Unsurprisingly, reports say Harry is crushed at yet another painful breach with his father and royal dynamics are irreparably damaged. But from Charles's perspective, Further reputational harm must be prevented regardless of personal feelings as the monarch transitions into his kingship. So where does this leave the Duke and Duchess of Sussex now? Those close to them tell outlets they are understandably furious over the so-called abuse of power made to undermine Meghan's voice and influence. But they will continue philanthropic work independently. Critics say Charles may have achieved the short-term aim of ridding British royal family links but inflamed decades-old wounds by disrespecting privacy and damaging trust with his son during an already fragile period. Divisions are at their starkest since Diana's death. Only time will tell if any reconciliation becomes possible. For now, the monarchy and Sussexes are on starkly opposing paths with little looking back. Charles's bold move strikes a definitive blow, ending any hopes Meghan retained of regal identity or acceptance within the House of Windsor, she always craved. Her delusions of princesshood are truly destroyed, 
leaving deep scars that may never fade. Whatever the reactions, this decree represents King Charles's first major exercise of hard power as he reshapes the monarchy for modern relevance. He has cut historic ties once and for all, for better or worse, signaling a new era of tradition over progressive change at any cost under his sterner stewardship of the crown. This has truly been an astonishing development with huge implications. Join us again next time as more certain to unfold in the ongoing feud between the Windsors and Sussexes from across the Atlantic. For now, this is Emily Andrews signing off from London. Thank you for watching The Royal Report.